prophesy, saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely ye have received, freely give. Yeah, so when the scriptures say heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, you know, raise the dead, these are all metaphors for teaching this word. When we present this doctrine unto you and you receive it, you have just been raised from the dead. You have just been healed. You have just been cleansed. And that's pursuant to the book of St. John, the 15th chapter and the 3rd verse, where it says, Now ye are clean through the word. See? Verse 9, it says, Provide neither gold nor silver nor brass in your purses nor script for your journey, neither two coats, neither shoes, nor yet staves, for the workman is worthy of his meat. Meaning the prophets are to be supported. That's why you have a tithing system. See? Verse 11, it says, And enter whatsoever city or town ye shall enter. Inquire who in it is worthy. Yeah, let's read this again. It says, And enter whatsoever city or town ye shall enter. Inquire who in it is worthy. Meaning this information is only extended to the elect. Look, this truth being on display is not a call to bring all so-called black people together. <laughs> Whenever we upload these epistles in the form of these videos or live streams, it's only reserved for those who are like-minded. And that's pursuant to the book of Second Ezra, the 8th chapter in the 51st verse, in which the Apostle Paul echoed that sentiment by saying he suffered all things for the elect's sake, and essentially this is what our Lord Yahweh Shah is saying here again, it says, 